Jerry Yellen has come to Shizuoka with a group of Americans to help pay tribute to those who died here during World War II. But this isn't his first time in Japan. On April 7th, I was a part of the first land-based fighter mission over Japan, escorting B-29s when they were doing air raids during the daytime. And I made 19 missions over Japan. He's one of the nearly two and a half million American veterans of World War II who are still alive. One of the many veterans who, until not too long ago, still held a grudge against his former adversaries. But in 1988, my youngest son married a Japanese woman whose father was in the Japanese Imperial Air Force. He hated me as much as I hated him. And we met at the wedding of our children in Japan. And I have three grandchildren now in Japan. And early on in their marriage, I had a nightmare that my American grandchildren were bombing Japan and my Japanese grandchildren were bombing America. And I couldn't let that happen. So I've tried in my heart to tell the stories of healing and peace. One of the stories that Mr. Yellen is proud to help tell is the one of the people who died here at Shizuoka, where late on a summer night in 1945, and in retaliation for the bombing of Pearl Harbor, 123 U.S. B-29s took their vengeance on Japan, killing nearly 2,000 citizens. Also dying that day were the crews of two of the B-29s, which collided in midair. A scorched canteen was recovered from the crash site and now serves to represent the 23 Americans who died in the raid on Shizuoka. And that canteen is an integral part of the ceremony that Dr. Hiroya Sugano coordinates every year to honor the memories of both the American and Japanese patriots who lost their lives that day. Since 1972, he has conducted a giant American-Japanese ceremony honoring these 23 men who are dead. Honoring the dead is part of the reason Dr. Sagano believes this ceremony is important. But more than that, he feels we can learn from the lives lost at Shizuoka. My hope for the ceremony is that it will lead to something bigger, like a path to peace. So he has done an incredible service to humanity, to people, to, uh, between Japan and America. And he's done a great service to people like George O'Connor, whose uncle was a crew member of one of the B-29s that collided here. This is the place where my uncle took his last breath. It is um, quite significant for that reason. Uh, no one has come here since that occurred 63 years ago. And to come back, to actually go to the site of the crash, to uh, take everything in uh, has been a bit overwhelming. Um, I just wished my father was here with me to uh, enjoy that. If Mr. O'Connor's father were here today, he would have the opportunity to see the spiritual healing power of former adversaries coming together to forgive, but never to forget. And I don't want anybody ever to go through what I went through in a war. Staff Sergeant Harry Kibbe, Shizuoka, Japan.